I could sue him. I could take him to industrial tribunal for wrongful dismissal, couldn't I, Dad? Yeah, only there's one little problem. It was you that did it. Well... She's right, even if it was her. It's hardly a sacking offence, is it? Accidentally setting off the alarm. What are you on about, even if? Probably faulty anyway. There are loads of notices all over the place about not smoking in bogs. She's no excuse. She's new. She doesn't know her way around like you do, does she? She can read. Whose side are you on? I bent over flaming backwards trying to persuade them to give her a job in first place. So don't you dare ask me whose side I'm on. Yeah, well, I didn't want to work in a knicker factory anyway. And she's an ungrateful little piglet and all. I'm not chucking my life away making knickers. All right. And what marvellous profession are you planning on entering then, eh? Brain surgery? Quantity surveying? Leave her alone. You'll need more than a swimming certificate for that line of work, love. I'm sick of you. She's always trying to crack on I'm thick. Look at her. She's always undermining my confidence. One week. That's all you had to behave. One lousy week. Then they would have took you on properly. But oh no, you have to show off and smoke. Well, yeah, I do crack on you thick, cos you are. I said leave it alone. Oh, don't worry. I'm going to work. Somebody has to keep you idle swines in the lap of flipping luxury. You and your Alf doing out next Wednesday night. Why? Well, it's me and our Vera's. Ruby wedding anniversary. Yesterday. Yes, I had heard. Will you come? We'd be delighted. Eight o'clock onwards. Where is it? Here. Here? Hmm. Hey, is everybody invited, like? Right? Doors will be open. Oh, cheers, Jack. Oh, I thought you booked a nice hotel in Manchester. Come on, who told you that? You're Vera. Ah, Audrey. Let me get you this. Thanks, Martin. Hello, pint, please, Jack. Right. Listen, what are you doing tonight? Oh, I am popular. <laughs> Do you fancy babysitting? Yes, I can do. Are you going somewhere nice? Well, actually... Here, I can have two orange juices, please. Hello, uh, Well, no, I don't know, really. I'll, uh, I'll tell you later. All right. Angie. Oh, hang on, Jack. It is Angie, isn't it? Yes, hello, Les. Can I have a word? What about? In private. <laughs> right. What did you sack out the hand for, exactly? She knows why I sacked her. Smoking in the box? Get lost. If they can't smoke in the bogs, where can they smoke? She can smoke herself stupid wherever she likes in her own time, but not in mine. You're all the same, you aren't you? Are we? Written on giving her a chance, then snatching it back the first time she puts her foot out of place. She's only a kid. The first time? It's a wonder she's lasted this long. She hasn't had a foot in place since you walked through the door. Oh, there's always a clever answer, isn't there? It doesn't matter my kids sat at home crying because of you. Yeah, well, I doubt that somehow. You want to watch yourself, you. You're not the only one round here that can make people cry, you little cow. Oh.